Hey guys, welcome back to Loop Hub. Today we'll talk about the super gross moments on My Feet Are Killing Me. Let's head into it. Number 1. Jake To begin with, Jake wore the most ridiculous boots imaginable to see a podiatrist, which is ridiculous to add to the difficulty of the situation by using 10-foot laces. Jake, on the other hand, has a lot of black-rooted warts on his feet that have calloused over, preventing him from doing foot modeling. Dr. Schaefer scrapes them all off, adds acid, and rests them in bandages as soon as possible. Thank you for paying the copay. Number 2. Paul First and foremost, my feet are killing me created a lot of intrigue around Reed's bulging foot. However, once he removes his sock, it is on full display and resembles one of those rubber stoppers found on the front of roller skates. Paul's small kickstand makes a standing, walking, and running channeling. His girlfriend, on the other hand, is borderline cold-hearted, taking the dog for a walk almost as soon as she appears on the screen. Paul has to walk on the outside of his foot, which causes him knee pain and gives him the appearance of being constipated. His girlfriend is concerned that it's cancerous, but I'm more concerned about his blotchy Joe Dirt-style facial hair. Dr. Vincent must perform surgery, which seemed to be a difficult procedure. The incision is about a third of the width of his foot, and it leaves a wide gap. It's like putting a size 5 shoe on a size 8 foot to sew it back together, like a Chris Farley skit for example. Number 3. Kiara Kiara has to be concerned every morning about getting started on the wrong foot, quite literally. Her right big toe is large and square, reminding her of geometry class in high school. It causes her excruciating pain and resembles two nails glued together. At first, I felt I had double vision and needed to put the liquor down. It's more like Likely, however, that she stubbed her toe 500 times last week and wants to rearrange her furniture after doing a double shot take. The most amusing part was when she was overcharged for a pedicure. That's just plain petty. She's upset because people make fun of her toe, but she refuses to wear socks to fix the issue. She had never had an x-ray before, but she eventually felt it was time to have one. Dr. Schaefer demonstrates an extra toe bone sprouting from her right big toe. A gruesome operation follows. The thrill begins with a jab of something sharp under her toenail, when there was some yanking, jerking, and pulling off half of it, as well as some skin damage. After that, the surplus bone is removed, since there were obviously two pieces of it. Shiver. Number 4. Morgan To be honest, this girl has a lot more on her mind than a sixth toe on each foot. She weighs all over 300 pounds, is socially awkward, looks a lot like wrestling boss Paul Bearer, and writes paranormal erotica. The extra toes are really double pinkies, with a tiny peace sign on the edge of each foot. Amputating was completed with a snip snip, a bone saw, and a snip snip. Dr. Schaefer and the other attractive doctor have finished their work. Number 5. Stacy Her right foot appears to have two bones emerging in the middle of it and there is severe swelling all the way to the ankle. The rest seems to be a second degree burn. It's clear that it's tainted and if it gets muddy, it's a complete disaster. There are no hikes with a family in this home. Dr. Vincent performs the operation by removing a large chunk of meat from the bottom of Stacy's foot. Your second best if you think you have high arches. After a skin graft, her foot resembles the inside of a jelly donut rather than a mistreated Civil War combat wound at her follow-up visit. Number 6. David It's gross to take David's socks off. David without a doubt has never applied lotion to his feet. Dr. Schaefer is almost disgusted by the toenail fungus. The skin flakes flake off like a croissant, and his toenails resemble nasty, crusty short McDonald's french fries you throw away when you're almost finished. Unfortunately, David is a hemophiliac, but crossing the landmine of his foot without drawing blood is impossible. Dr. Schaefer has his red badge of bravery on his second toe. The remainder of the operation resembled woodworking rather than podiatry. A Dremel was used, and it was quite similar to the pedicure scene from Dumb and Dumber. Number 7. Kelly Kelly seems to have avoided cutting her nails and or washing her feet to be frank. They're revolting. The toenail on the big toe is infected with fungus. They won't be able to bring Kelly under because of medical problems when the surgical time comes. A screw thingamajig is used to secure the hammer toe. I made a stank face the whole time as the corn chip was removed. Her toes appear to be cold after surgery and are huddling together for warmth. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.